Hey guys, Youngblood here with another episode of Cat... Wait, nope, this isn't Captain's Log, this is Crisis 3 Beta Gameplay. Uh, for those of you that uh, don't know, Crisis 3 is in open beta, so whether you're on console or PC, uh, there's no reason to not try it. It's uh, absolutely free, it's not going to cost you a dime, and it's going to give you a chance to uh, see what it's all about. Um, I've only really played about five or six matches of this so far. Uh, the beta was released a couple days ago, so I'm already behind the curve. Uh, that being said, uh, you know, I haven't played any of the Crisis games before. I played a beta for, I think, Crisis 2, uh, and for some reason I just never got into it. Uh, that being said, I don't know if it's because at that point I was on console and now I'm on PC and all of a sudden I like it, but this game is a lot of fun. Uh, I think a big part of it has to do with the fact that I've been playing bigger games. Now, the Battlefield aficionados out there are going to say, well, Battlefield 3 is not a big game. Play Battlefield Bad Company 2. Well, I did play that, but Battlefield 3 is still a bigger game than Call of Duty, and I haven't played a Call of Duty since... Uh, uh, Black Ops. I think I put about two hours into Modern Warfare 3 uh, and was bored as hell because nothing ever changes. But the one thing that I did miss from this type of game is close quarters combat um, and this game really does deliver on that. Now it's in beta, there's a lot of wonky things and it, it, it just feels like there's some tweaks that could be done. That being said, it's actually fairly smooth um, and there's a lot of skill that seems to be required in the game. There is a ton of recoil on a lot of these guns, and I think that's why you're not seeing me play as the uh, the main class right now, is because uh, the recoil is so different from the last several games I've played. Battlefield 3, there's not much uh, uh, recoil to be seen. Uh, you know, Planet Side 2, there's not a whole lot of recoil either. So it's a different change, but I like it. Um, I like games where skills help you win. I like games where you can get shot a couple times turn around and have better aim and end up winning the battle because your skills can shine. That's a big turn on for me about a game and that's one of the reasons why I'm so interested in this. That being said, for those of you that haven't played a Crisis game, so you're in that same bucket as me. Um, this feels like a combination of so many different games and in all fairness it's probably not real fair to say this game's like any of the others, but that's what we do. We compare these games to other games and to me this feels like a combination of Halo meets Gears of War uh, meets Call of Duty. The maps feel very Call of Duty-esque, because I fall to my death there. Um, but the dark visuals and the scenery feels like Gears of War. Uh, and kind of the mechanics and the physics feel more like Halo. So, I don't know if you really need something to compare it to, but that's how I personally would sum this up. So let me tell you about my experiences with this game so far. Uh, I came in and I started with the default Assaulter class. Um, I had an Assault Rifle, um, I was able to uh, toss grenades and all that good stuff. And the recoil was, like I said, so different from other games that I've been playing that I had a really hard time with it. Then, on a whim, I decided to try and change classes. I thought I selected Sniper, ended up with some class that's got a shotgun on it, and apparently you run, it's like Call of Duty Lightweight, you run around like some madman on meth. Um, and it, it feels, and I've read this and seen this in other videos, but I, I have to kind of agree, it feels like it could be overpowered just because of your mobility and the fact that the shotgun is really strong uh, at close range. Uh, there you can see this guy sliding into home and just destroying me. I didn't even know you could do that in this game. So, obviously, there's a high learning curve for me if I've never played this game. Uh, so, after that, I played with the shotgun class. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, and then, all of a sudden, I got into... I saw that there was a sniper class available. And I'm assuming I'm unlocking these with skills. And like I said, you know, I don't know much about this game. So, this is just me talking about it. So, if you know more, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Um, but I got the sniper class, and for those of you that I, I picked up most of you guys, my subscribers, uh, from my planet side content, and I, you know, I'm glad, and I'm, you know, and when you see me playing infantry combat, I'm either using engineer or I'm using the uh, infiltrator. I love sniping in video games. Uh, Battlefield 3, I was an awesome sniper. Uh, it sounds like I'm bragging a little bit, but I was really good at sniping, uh, especially like within close quarters. So I picked this up, and it's fun. I have problems with uh, semi-auto snipers because I tend to spam them, but I'm enjoying this class so far. 
My favorite thing uh, is really the fact that you carry around a C4, and it's almost uh, Bad Company 2-esque, where you can kind of uh, go a little bit crazy on it. Uh, so I, I enjoy that aspect. You see in, uh, in one place, I just dropped in on the drop pod, dropped one, popped back, and pulled the trigger, and got a double kill. Um, you can also stick it to people, almost like a Halo sticky grenade, and then blow it up later. So this class is my favorite so far, probably just because I tend to favor uh, sniper rifles in games anyways. But I also just enjoy the fact that you can have fun with something like a C4 or remote charge or whatever. What you're going to see me hop into here, I think it's called the Pinger. Uh, basically, it looks like a giant mech. You've got a couple different weapons on it. It looks like an auto turret and a, uh, I don't know, some sort of photon cannon or something like that. I'm just, you can see me just kind of wandering around within this one little spot because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, that's going to be the theme for this game for a while. I'm going to I'm planning on posting up uh, quite a bit of this content as I'm learning the game, uh, just because I think it's fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy watching it. But there's cool things about this game, like this thing. Um, you know, I, it's a big it's a big robot that you can drive and launch weapons at people. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, there's other things like in the clip before this one, you saw me with some alien weaponry. Uh, I don't know what it was called. It, I think it was called a photon mortar or something like that. That was pretty cool, too. So, there seems to be some interesting variety in the game so far that's making it interesting to play. Um, you know, I'm not going to claim to be an expert on any of this because I'm not, but the game has done enough for me and the two game types that are in the beta to keep me interested. Um, just so you know, the two game types, there's this uh, this drop pod type game where pods fall out of the sky and then it's basically like uh, headquarters or like King of the Hill. You need to hold the territory and you earn points while you're doing that. Um, you know, another thing is, or the other version is Hunter, where you are either a cloaked badass with a uh, bow and arrow or you're the helpless prey running around hoping to be the last one to die. So, there's a couple different game types in beta. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more at release. But ultimately, there's enough in this to give you a feel for the game and for you to see whether you like it or not. For me, I like it. You're going to see more content from it. If you don't plan on downloading it, watch a couple of these videos that I'm going to put out because it may at least give you an idea for the feel. So, that's it for now. I appreciate you guys watching. More to come. If you want to see anything, let me know. Uh, you know, yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.